Number 11 then from the 2016 Advanced Tire Maths, a little format question on, it looks like, related rates of change. What does it say? The height of a cube is increasing. Now that can only mean, it can't mean you've got a cube and it height, its height increases because it would turn to a cuboid. It must mean the whole cube is expanding, I'm guessing. The height of a cube is increasing at the rate of, so I'll call that dh by dt for the height, 5 centimetres per second. Find the rate of increase of the volume when the height reaches 3 centimetres. Now, it must mean it maintains the shape of a cube, surely. Well, there's two ways of doing that. The formula for that would be, I presume if the height's h, then all the other sides are h, so the volume would just be h cubed. So that dv, there's two ways of doing it, either dv by dh will be 3h squared, and then if you want dv by dt, you would say, well, I don't know dv by dt, but I know dv by dh, and I can multiply that by dh by dt, because I was told that to begin with. So that would just be equal to 3h squared times dh by dt. So if you want to evaluate dh by dt when h is 3, if that's to get evaluated at h equals 3, that's going to be 3 times h is 3, and the rate for dh by dt is 5, and that will now be centimetres squared times centimetres, which is centimetres cubed per second. So it's just a case of what does that come to? Whichever way you like, 27 multiplied by 5 carry the 3, 135 centimetres cubed per second. I suppose that would be the, the standard way that they'd be looking for this. The other way would just be to say, well, v equals h cubed. And v and h are both functions of time, because they're both changing with time. So if you do the, the rates this time, dv by dt, differentiating both sides with respect to time would be, now, since that's a function of a function, that's going to be 3 times h squared multiplied by the inner function's rate with respect to time times dh by dt, which of course takes you to the same result.